Okay, so picture this. I'm in Africa and everything's great. And the people are so nice and the clinic is amazing. And I'm doing work that actually feels important. Like I can, I can actually see that I'm making a difference. But I'm crying, like constantly. Really, please. Go back to Malawi. I can't have a job here. Dr. Robbins, you're back. Now that is the reaction I was hoping for. I understand why you're mad at me. I do. No. I even understand you slamming the door on my face. No, I... no. You will not hold me hostage and make me listen to you. I am rebuilding the leg of a kid who's been shot. That's, that's why I'm here. That is the only reason. No talking. None. I came across the world to be with you. I love you. You had to fly across the world to get to me, Arizona, because you flew a whole world away without ever looking back. You just left. If you get on that plane, if you go without me, we are done. Do you hear me? We are over. We are standing in the middle of an airport screaming at each other. You're not the only one in this relationship. There are two of us. And you came back today, but I didn't. What are you doing here? Oh, I bought out our subletters. I'm moving back in. <laughs> Hooray! My lack of interest in seeing you is not a strategy. I'm not, uh, I'm not playing hard to get. I don't want to see you because I turned my life upside down for you and you walked away. You're untrustworthy, so I don't want to see you. You're self-centered, so I don't want to see you. I am 100% certain that if I let you back into my life again, you will hurt me again. I don't want you in my life. She's mad. Means she cares, right?